Hello my YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you with an update on these lawns. If you remember, I did a couple videos here about these lawns looking and growing really super fast. Now I'm gonna show you the bad side of bent grass. Uh, before we get into that, let's take a look. Hello my YouTube world, this is Johnny Mo coming to you, taking a look at the, the Toro striping the lawns up. I went up and down here, but you can't see it because of the sun is being blocked by the shade. So right now we are in a hot spell. We started at the probably last two weeks in June. We did get some downpours last week, um, but this is what bent grass does. This is fine fescue and bent grass. Now this is in, this is drought. Drought stress is starting to set in, some heat stress. And this is what bent grass does. It just falls over turns brown it cannot take the 80s and above and we are in a uh, period of two weeks with no rain scheduled and complete sun in high 80s low 90s with full blown in the 60 high 60 70 dew point which when you when you're dealing with weather the dew point is right where the problem is so you could see the bent grass look at this you could just see it's just falling over now where it's a little cooler, it looks a little better in, in the shades, but you can see, see, it's not growing straight up and down anymore. It's starting to fall over and this would be high vac decks. Um, if you don't have a high vac deck or some high vac uh, blades on, it's gonna, what this will do is this will just completely fall over and it will not cut at all. And it'll look, and a couple days later, it'll start to rise back up and you'll get some customer complaints here and there. Uh, that is not full-blown um, bent grass that has some a lot of bent grass especially up around in there but it does have a little bit of rye and a little bit of uh, Kentucky blue it looks like the lawn was replanted the back is completely all bent grass that side over there has some bent grass but on the farther side by the woods it does have some Kentucky blue and so <clears throat> we're gonna be starting a, a little bit of a, uh, a grass series uh, concerning what do you do like what do I tell this customer she's got trees what do I tell this customer you know, the big thing on YouTube is to strip out your whole lawn and plant Kentucky blue or plant tall turf type fescue or uh, or a grass is what do you do what do you do when you don't have that option what do you tell a customer like this you have to find a way to come up with a program to make their lawn look the best that it possibly can look and, and in, given that situation, you're gonna have to, you know, make some suggestions. Put a program in for your type of grass. It's not just that easy just to go ahead and say, you know what, we're just going to, uh, now here's some coarse fescue. This is coarse fescue here, uh, mixed in with fine fescue and some bent grass. This is, you can really see the bent grass patch. You see that real light patch right there. That's a bent grass patch. And that all from over there, all the way here, is bent grass. And this is a lot of this is fine fescue and coarse, coarse fescue. Has a little bit of Kentucky blue, very little, very little Kentucky blue mixed in. Little patches, you could see the little patches here and there. But eventually, this whole lawn is going to be that. You can see it's working its way here. Eventually, this will die off as, as more drought. Um, the the as more of the drought takes out the Kentucky blue, more more bent grass will keep moving and keep moving and keep moving. So that's what's moving its way over here. This over here, all of that is in drought stress. That is fine fescue and uh, bent grass. And knowing the knowing your grasses and what they can take and what they can't take is key to putting a program together to try to make these lawns look as good as possible. Now, unless we get rain, which I don't think we're going to, this lawn here will probably be a skip next week. So we are first week in July. This is gonna be a skip next week because I could see right around the tree, looking this way, that it is completely brown. Underneath the tree might grow. This backyard does get some shade, so it might grow. But right now, with just one week, now we had a lot of rain last week, with just one week, high 80s, 90s, and a little bit of breeze, they're shot. I've already skipped a couple. Um, but we're going to be doing a little bit of a grass series, especially here for the Northeast, because no one talks about these 
other grasses that you encounter. This is what we encounter a majority. Like she's not gonna rip her whole front lawn out and plant Kentucky blue, especially with trees. Um, so what do you do? You have to work with what you got. Know your grass species, know what you can get away with. This is cut at three and a half. That is cut at three and a half. Uh, that's looking really, really sharp. That holds a lot of water. Um, um, you can see, look at that. Look at the, look at that bent grass right there. Look how strong that bent grass is right there. And this fine fescue that's bordered it. So fine, bent, and, and look at the fine fescue just going straight to drought. All the water's running off the hill and settling in that yard over there because this is a hill. You probably can't tell, but it's running right down into that. So all the water is going into that lawn. And so it's going to stay a little bit greener longer. But in the shade, this is decent, has some decent color to it. So guys, <clears throat> that's my time. I'm going to, going to be going to my next one. It is a skip. So I'm going to be doing some other ones. Now this looks pretty good underneath these trees. Nice little green. Um, but next week I will, I will do a report. I will guarantee this. If we get no rain, which it doesn't look like we're getting anything for two weeks and high eighties, nineties, this will be a skip. So now you have to figure out how are you going to continue to bring in income through what looks to be a pretty nice little drought. I'll give you a clue right there on the side of the trailer. See if you can get, if you can figure out how we're gonna bring income in by reading the side of that trailer, let me know. Put it down in the comment sections if you can figure out how we're gonna keep busy. This is another thing right here. So <clears throat> I'm almost at the end of round two and this is a big problem right now. So I have to pull back my weed control. I have to go at the lower rates and I have to really pay attention to the weather. Um, you cannot, you cannot go at two o'clock in the afternoon and just go full blown, let's just fertilize like it's nothing because you could really hurt a lawn, especially a lawn like this. It's just, it's just a couple days away from being fully into full blown drought stress. And then you come along, give it some weed control, give it a heavy dose of 2203. And then all of a sudden you get a nice little, one little quick shower, it washes it in and then it goes right back into dormancy. You, you're gonna hurt this lawn. So you gotta pay attention. So, but I am gonna take my front lawn, which looks a lot like this, has fine fescue, bent grass, Kentucky blue, and rye in it. So I'm gonna take my front lawn, and I've already started watering it today, and we're gonna take a look and see if I can keep it through, if I can have some lawn domination, keep it through this, this little spell we're gonna go through. Guys, that's my time. Any questions, comments? please put them down in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That's my time, guys.